Hi, I'm Alex Van Buren for Chow.com with this week's New York Chow Report. I lived in Long Island City in 2002, and back then, there was hardly any place to get a meal after 8 p.m. Never mind, a pretty little speakeasy. Dutch Kills on Jackson Avenue will celebrate its second birthday this May. It's a cocktail lounge run by Sasha Petrosky, Richard Bacato, and Karen Stanley, some of the minds behind Milk and Honey and Little Branch in Manhattan. It was the first of its kind out here, and if you're not careful, you'll miss it. Look for the bar sign out front, like a beacon on a cold night. Here they specialize in classic and original cocktails. At $11 a pop, they're not cheap, but they're inexpensive compared to drinks of this caliber in Brooklyn and Manhattan. What I found most extraordinary was something very simple, an Irish coffee. Karen Stanley thinks people usually screw up Irish coffees by making them too sweet, too boozy, or with old coffee. So she and her partners kept the recipe simple, sticking to the basics. Just whiskey, strong coffee, cream, and sugar. Of course, she uses some modern techniques. First, she muddles two raw sugar cubes with one and a half ounces of Jameson. Then she pulls one large shot of espresso and tops it with hot water. Finally, she steams the whole thing together to keep it nice and hot and tops it with lightly sweetened homemade whipped cream and a sprig of mint. You might be tempted to swirl everything together. Try one sip before you do. When you get cream, whiskey, and espresso all in one layered sip, it's as velvety as can be. This is a great place to warm up after hopping off the train or after an afternoon at PS1. A lot of craft went into the space, from the golden fleur-de-lis coat hangers to the pretty chandelier in back. And there's nothing wrong with tucking into one of these booths, alone or with a friend, and nursing this cocktail until you warm up. Although I'd suggest getting here before 7 or 8 o'clock if you can, as it gets quite busy at night. You can also make these at home. They look very elegant to warm guests up before sending them out the door. The recipe is on Chow.com. I'm Alex Van Buren of Chow.com for food, drink, and fun.